Hello Venus and welcome back to another video. Wait a minute, something isn't right here. Let's get some better lighting in here first. Tell me why it's literally so gloomy. This lighting isn't doing anything. How about this? I think that's a little bit better. I hate turning on lights when it's literally light outside, but it's too gloomy for that, so. Now that the lighting is better, Hello beauties and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can become a beanie and you can check out all the fun videos I have prepared for my little beanies. Guess what today's video is about? You guys did a vote on this and the winner of the vote is, drumroll please. Fun ways to fill up your sketchbook, yay! I'm not that surprised, I figured that one was gonna win over the other ones, but you know, I, I told you what to set up. But yeah, so that's what today's video is gonna be about. Now let's hop into it. So here are 9 different ways that you can make your sketchbook aesthetic or more fun. First are sticky notes. Usually I just glue them on the page, they're already sticky but the little flap that sticks out kind of gets annoying sometimes so I'll just glue it down and wait for it to dry and then of course I'll add another one just for the sake of it. But I really love doing this because it adds extra color and it just makes your sketchbook more unique. I remember I went over to my cousin's house and she was begging me for sticky notes, so I was like, okay, there's something up with these sticky notes, but if you don't want to add them, that's fine, but I think it's a really good touch to your sketchbook, it makes it really colorful, it can kind of categorize what you do as well, and then the second thing is adding little doodles, so I usually like to doodle on my sketchbook a lot because... First of all, sometimes I'm just bored and in class I'll sit there and doodle for however long if I have free time and it really just helps release some stress and helps getting your mind moving and you just create little things every here and there and it really helps to fill up your sketchbook because they're just little sketches. They help to complete the page most of the time and help fill up some of the dead space. Another one, which is the third one, is quotes. So usually if I want to add quotes or song lyrics or little words over here and there just to help it look better, then I'll do that. Sometimes you could also take a book that you don't really like anymore or you have multiple of and just kind of add little pages or little quotes from the book over here and there. Another one is adding backgrounds or adding patterns in the background that really helps to elevate the look so right here i just added a border so that really helps to kind of make the page look more fun and then of course again with the little doodles i always like to draw these guys everywhere so i have to add them to the page It's always good to experiment with different drawing techniques and explore different styles of your art and then it's also good to also just be creative you know like this is your sketchbook it can look however you want it to look it can have whatever you want it to have in it it can be as cluttered as you want it to be it can be as not cluttered as you want it to be it could simply just be little sketches over here and there and not really like a bunch of like cool hour long pieces you know you can just add whatever you want i mean half the time i'm just drawing little doodles of people through my entire sketchbook i mean in the beginning i said that one of my goals was to hopefully do better at exploring with different medias with this sketchbook i mean that's why i got the type that i got that's very that has a lot of like tooth because 
it's meant for like multiple medias but in a way i kind of set myself up because i'm not exploring with different medias yet then it kind of makes it worse because when i'm just sketching it's like super bumpy and wavy and the lines aren't always straight so you have to press like really hard just to get something defined so i kind of set myself up but it's kind of my fault because i said i was going to experience like experiment with different medias but i didn't so it's just a mess but if you want to get a sketchbook like this just make sure you're actually gonna use different medias and not just sketch with a pencil all the time i also think it's the type of pencil i have like if i had the pencil i used to have with like really thin lead and it's an art pencil if i had that it would be better but i've been just using a regular mechanical pencil for way too long so i need to get another pencil <laughs> but as a continuation of what i was saying before backgrounds and patterns can really spice up your art so sometimes i usually draw like the same few patterns i'll draw like stripes or polka dots or draw like checker prints but it doesn't have to be completely in the background i like to like section them off in like little bubbles but they kind of like go around the art piece that you did i don't know i just find that really cool so i usually like to add that small touch and it helps spice up your art and make it look really cool and then you can cover it color it in or not sometimes i'll just leave the drawings black and white and then just make patterns that are in color and it usually adds a really cool effect but next on the list is interactives my old sketchbook had a ton of them but in this one i haven't really had the time to make interactives so i'm just gonna do a quick example of one to show you what it is sometimes if i draw something that i don't really like i'll just put in like a sticky note over top of it so that i can't see it and i can flip it up if i choose to or i can just leave it so I'll usually tend to do that, but usually I'll draw on top of the sticky note again so it still looks better. But I mostly just tend to do this with my drawings that I don't really appreciate as much as the others. And then I'll draw a better version of what I wanted it to look like over top. Afterward, I just decided to add a border on the other side to make it look more symmetrical and then add in another sticky note so it'll look more symmetrical as well. The sixth way to make your sketchbook look more fun and more aesthetic is to add different types of studies. I don't really know how to fully explain that, but Basically, if there's something you want to improve on, it's good to just fill up your sketchbook with little doodles of things that you want to improve on. I know one thing that I draw a lot is lips, and that's why I feel like I've gotten so good at drawing lips, because I literally draw everywhere with just to free up space or fill up space. Or if I'm just drawing lips on my test paper, <laughs> I draw them everywhere, so I'm always getting practice, which is always helping me to improve on drawing them. So another way to fill up your sketchbook is to fill up the dead space with little studies of things you want to improve on. The seventh way to make your sketchbook more fun and more aesthetic is to experiment with different medias. This can make your book look better and it can also help you improve in your art because a lot of different medias can mix well together. Like I've seen people layer colored pencils on paint and markers and all that and I'm like, how? But if you just practice with different medias, you'll get better at them. I mean, it's practice makes perfect you know when you draw something over and over and over again you usually tend to get better at that one specific thing so 
if you really want to improve on something, just draw it as many times as you possibly can and it will be engraved in your head to remember the steps of how to draw it right. Lips specifically are super easy for me to draw now because I draw it over and over and over again. Even when I don't know what to draw, I'm just like, might as well draw some lips, you know? First of all, they're very satisfying to draw because, I mean, man, look at this. Doesn't that look scrumptious? I mean, but yeah, so just draw whatever you want to improve on as many times as you can and you will get better at it. Watch some videos on how to do it and... I will include some people that I follow here if you want to follow them on how I kind of evolved my art style and yes I'm using a pen you know use different medias I used a white gel pen for the shine and I used regular color pencils for the lips of course and then pencil for the sketch before this of course but yeah, so just experiment with different medias and watch different people to get better at your art style and improve and pick up what you like from their art to implement into your art style. I also do want to point out that if you're doing different medias, just make sure that the paper you have isn't going to bleed through. I mean, yeah, this is obviously just common sense, but I'm sitting here like, oh, use different medias, but it depends on the sketchbook. If you have a sketchbook more like mine, you might be able to use paint pens and a bunch of different medias and not have to worry about anything bleeding through, but just make sure that your paper won't bleed through before you go and draw and add a bunch of layers of paint to your picture. I love to color stuff in and add a bunch of layers of colors to stuff and it's just it's just so fun and so relaxing but if you want to use a lot of different medias then make sure that first of all none of it's gonna bleed through make sure that first of all you have enough of a color before you go and use it and then you realize like halfway through the drawing that you need more of it and you're like shoot now I need to go to the store and buy more and nobody has the time for that. I'm totally not speaking over personal experience. But yeah, so you don't want that to happen. But the best places that I usually get my art stuff is usually from Michaels or I'll go to Hobby Lobby or I mean, that's kind of it. <laughs> I know there's another one, but I can't think of it. Oh, Amazon, Target. I mean, yeah, but those are just typical places you go for anything. But that's usually where I get my art stuff. I've also gotten black liners from Five Below before, and they were really good. And I was, like, very surprised because, like, Five Below can be kind of cheap. So I was really surprised how, like, amazing these things were. I still have them, actually, and they're amazing. They literally work like a charm. Another issue is when you go to blend and add a bunch of layers, make sure that the pencil isn't going to smear into your colors because if you're coloring with a color pencil over top of a regular pencil then sometimes the colors will mix and then it'll start to look like there's graphite in it like from the pencil underneath and then it'll start to smear and it's just not the best thing so to avoid that altogether sometimes it's best to black line i know black lining can get so tedious sometimes but you just have to stick it out you know because I know that me personally, I hate black lining. It's one of the things I just hate to do. So sometimes I just don't do it. But like here, I'm surprised it didn't smear because I did not black line it. But it adds a better look to it. You can also avoid this altogether by drawing lighter. But obviously that's something I'm incapable of doing. So I just write super hard and draw super hard. And either it works out or it doesn't. <laughs> I really hope to be able to save up enough money to get a video camera because all of the videos that I record are recorded on my phone and as you can tell like the graphics aren't as how do I put this lightly high tech as they would be if I had a camera so please make sure to like and subscribe and share to your friends and please watch this video all the way through and that will really really be helpful to me i love you guys so much and thank you for watching this in the first place i hope this video was very helpful for you i don't remember exactly what type of camera it was 
but I took like a photography class in middle school and in high school and one of the cameras that we used in high school was literally amazing and it was like I can't remember if it was Sony or if it was Canon no it was Sony it was a Sony uh camera and it was just really cute and tiny and it was like very the graphics were so good and I was like this is peak like technology right here but I really hope to be able to afford that at some point in my life because they're like two thousand dollars and I ain't got the type of money but now I'm just adding a background the same background that I added to the other page so it'll be more symmetrical and go together and a good artist always signs their work even in their sketchbook. Another way to make your sketchbook more aesthetic and fun is to add bookmarks. My old sketchbook had a ton of these sticking out and even when they get wrinkled up, it just kind of makes it look more like vintage and stuff, but it still helps you mark your page and I'm gonna mark this one because this is a memory that I'll remember with you guys. So I'm gonna mark the page and also to use it as an example and of course I'll cut it to make it a little bit shorter but yeah, and it goes with the pink sticky note on the other page another way to make it more fun and aesthetic is to add stickers this is my favorite part I only have Pusheen stickers right now because I used up all my other stickers in my other sketchbook but I just stick them wherever there's empty space I don't really have a specific place I stick them unless of course it's to cover a drawing that I don't like and that was number nine. So many people have so many different art styles and so many different sketchbooks. And it's just so amazing to see how creative people are. So really put your creativity to use when working in your sketchbook. There's so many endless possibilities with drawing and creating. And you can really just make your sketchbook look however you want. And that's totally up to you. And nobody can tell you how you want to make it look and you can just do whatever you want because it's your it's your imagination that's your only limit but i love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can become a beanie let's get to 500 guys i'm so excited and thank you so much for all the love and support i love you guys so much and tune in next time for another video bye